Hi, welcome to day 17. I'm going to do a monkey face tutorial for you. And um, first off, like I said in yesterday's video, I w just my face was a little raw from washing it so much. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, yesterday I did clean up my room a little bit, and let me show you real quick. So, as you see, I made my bed. And my computer area looks a little bit cleaner. And then I redid my workstation here. So it looks a little bit better. There's the mirror. There's my close-up mirror, brushes, paints. And here's my seat. I used to have this in the front with a whole bunch of books and stuff. And I put the books down below. So, I now have this right here, which is a stand for my camera, which I'm going to put back on. Make sure it's lined up a little bit so you can see me just right. But this should allow you better access to see my face. It's a little bit more close up. It's a little bit easier to do. I still have my big mirror in the back, back here. I have my smaller mirror down here, make it easier for me to see details. Now, this request was made by a customer of mine that's actually local to my area. Her name is Rebecca Short, and I have painted her face multiple times at Leroy's Flea Market, um, Washington County Fair. Uh, different events throughout the area. Wherever she can find me, I usually paint her face. And uh, she's a great person for that. So the thing is, I'm going to show you how to do a monkey face. It's sort of a cross between a gorilla and a chimpanzee. You make up your mind. I'm going to do it. It's going to be real quick and easy. Um, and you'll see what happens. So first of all, I need to go get water. I'll be right back. Good thing about having a bathroom right outside the door. You can go and grab the water real quick. Now I should have had this ready for you in advance but I didn't so that's my fault but now I can sit like this I can look at the camera make sure everything's straight make sure it's all good and I have my paints right here down here okay mirror in front now let me get started so first off with the monkey face depending on what you're doing I need to take a little bit of brown and a little bit of white and I'm going to do around the eyes, around the mouth, around this eye in a lighter color. It doesn't have to be dark. You don't want it to be dark. You want it to be a little bit light. So. Put on if you have to get some more water, get some more paint. Okay, so you got the middle of the face. This gives it dimension because the rest is going to be fur around the edge. So I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to get some darker brown. And 
I'm going to fill in the rest. Now, I am going to give it a fur effect, but first I want to get a base on. So, to find it out. And then fill in the rest. Now, if you find that the center part is still not light enough for you, go ahead and dip the brown into a little bit of yellow. Okay? Go back over that middle part. That'll lighten it up for you a little bit. See, now it's a little bit more light. To find it out. Now here's the fun part. That was all done with one sponge that I because the brown is the main dark color, I'm not worried about the white or the yellow because when I dip back into the brown, I can darken it back up without a problem, okay? So, take my trusty number six brush, dip it into the water, take up some black, and you're going to define the area with a kind of a hair. Okay? So you're going to go from the middle and you're going to sweep it up following that light area that you just created. And as you get in towards the cheekbones you define it out. So now you do the other side. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay? This is the most tedious part. Is doing the hair. Doing the fur. But, once you get the hang of it, it comes pretty easy. Now you don't have to fur out the whole thing. You just want to get the fur where you think it should be in the most prominent places. Make sure your brush is a little wet so that you can get the fur effect out there. If it's not wet enough, it'll be too dry, you won't get the fur effect. And don't be afraid, just have fun with it. So okay, I got the fur effect with that. Now I'm going to rinse out my brush a little bit. I'm going to take just a little bit of yellow.
and I'm going to do some highlights in it. Just to give it some dimension. Now, now that you've done that, take some more black. Okay? Now you're going to do the eyes. Always line your eyes underneath first. Especially the model, because the thing is, with the model, you do the underside first, and then you have them close their eyes for the rest of the time. That way it makes it easier for you to, you know, do the lids, and then it doesn't make, you know, marks. Now, unfortunately, I'm doing this all myself. So I may get some eyelid residue, but that's okay. We don't care about that. Now, monkeys have prominent brow bones and some wrinkles in there. So we'll just go ahead and draw those in. Now, if you want, you can darken up the inside corner of the eye. This will just help blend in all those marks you just made. Okay? You can do some ridge marks on the nose. Doesn't matter. And then over here You're going to make it a little bit more prominent right around where the fur is, where the eyes are. Okay? Now, monkeys also have large nostrils. Especially gorillas. So you make the nostrils really large. And for the lips, you're not really going to paint the whole lips. You're going to paint just the inside edge. And you're going to come out pretty much to where the fur is. Because they have large mouths. Now here's a trick to getting the line on the top lip just right. When it's wet on the bottom, have them press their lips together and you can get that nice black line on the top lip too, see? But it gives that effect. Now, I'm going to take my black, but I'm not going to take it too wet. I'm going to make these little ridge lines, okay? Because their lips aren't completely smooth. They do have some wrinkles in them. Alright? Give some extra dimension around the eyes because their eyes are pretty wrinkled. So there you go, you have a basic monkey face. But the thing is, let's make it pop a little bit more. So we're going to take some white. Not a lot, just a little bit. And we're going to 
highlight some areas you know especially your creases you want to make sure that they really pop so that when people see it they think it's real You want to do that to the outside of your nose too. I know this isn't perfect, but we're having fun anyways, aren't we? And we're also going to highlight the lip lines a little bit I'm going to make a little cleft in the chin give this monkey a mean look Now, just when you think this is over, you're going to take another sponge, just dab it a little wet. Don't make it too wet, okay? You're going to pick up a little bit of yellow, and you're going to put highlights in different areas, like the bridge in the nose. the brow lines cheekbones and if you notice after I get done dabbing it's a little bit too prominent so I take the back side of the sponge and kind of blend it in a little bit I'm going to do that a little bit with uh, this area here you know, chin a little bit. Now, take another sponge, get a little wet, pick up some white, just a little bit, not a lot, and go back over that yellow with just a little bit of stippling. There we go. And that is a monkey face. So I hope you like this, Rebecca. This was all for you and stuff. Um, I have a whole bunch of things set up, so when I start getting all the rest of my stuff in, I can really do it and make this a lot better. So um, next couple of days, I'll probably be out of town. So I'm going to take my little... Uh, uh, itchy nose. I'm going to take my other camera with the broken back and uh, it's charging up right now and I'm going to take that with me and my partner she's actually supposed to be doing a mural but she's going to need my help in Pigeon Forge Tennessee so we're going to go out there and we're going to do the mural and stuff I may take my paints with me I may not I'm probably not going to take my paints with me but I'll show you what we're doing and there'll be more stuff going on um, like I said, I have some hidden videos inside my other videos in my 365 playlist. Okay? I'm going to be making more hidden videos. You're going to have to search for them. Look for the annotations. They're little annotations that should give you a clue. Hey, maybe I should click on this. And then you'll go straight to the video. Now, the videos are unlisted, not private. Unlisted means as long as you have 
the address to the video, you can watch it. You can also share it. I encourage you not to share, but to tell your friends about it and hey, this is awesome. You gotta see it, but you gotta look for it. I don't want you to give away the address. You know, don't share it with your friends. Don't share it on Facebook and stuff. Watch it, enjoy it, tell your friends about it, but don't share the link. Um, if that happens, I am going to make the link private and you can only see it when you view the past videos. So we have some great ideas. I got my green screen back here. It's going to really help. Um, my computer's slow, but hopefully I can get some, you know, little things done, even if it's just photos. And uh, we're going to have a good old time. This is going to get better. And like I said, you can see yesterday's video up here. Make sure, yeah, you can see yesterday's video up here, tomorrow's video up here. Rate, comment below. Leave me a message. Post a video response if you've done one of these on yourself. And I'll see you tomorrow. Um, now with that, seeing you tomorrow. Depending on if I have a good connection to the internet means whether I'll actually put the video up tomorrow or when I get home. There will be a blog post about this and I'm trying to make this work on 365 days but I'm figuring out that it may not work. So some of the videos may be backed up. You may have to wait a couple days to actually get the next day's video. We'll just have to see. But like I said, yesterday's video, tomorrow's video, rate, comment below, send me a message, post a video response if you did a face like this, and have fun. Love you guys. Bye.